it's really important as we're building these AI tools to have conversation with the industry and with the actual artist to be like, how do I build this to amplify you mm -hmm. and not to like completely take away from you and just say, I'm going to be just typing and getting final VFX just by typing. Um, so I think that's important. And I understand the fear that's around it now, you know, because we've been in it for a while. We've been talking to people about AI and VFX for three and a half years now. And, you know, just eight months ago, I, I, you know, I would do certain talks and people have no clue what I'm talking about. And I was telling people, this is coming quicker than people realize because, you know, you see these things in mainstream media and everybody's like, yeah, it's moving so fast. It's not moving as fast as you think. It's just, it's been moving like that for the, for the past three years or decades with the research from these academia people. And if you've been reading that, you kind of seeing, all right, there's these waves that come, right? You got a hype that goes down and a hype again goes down. You know, we saw that with deep fakes, we saw that with nerves, pose estimation and a stable diffusion, right? So it's like, we're seeing these waves come and go. Uh, it's just that now it's such a hot topic. So, you know, you've seen these alterations of software come out. So people are like mind blown how quickly it's moving. On the flip side of that is really exciting um, because I think traditionally VFX, you have companies, you know, the, you know, companies like um, VFX company studios, they don't have that many engineers in their teams and they don't have that much time to build pipelines. But now you have entire Silicon Valley jumping on something because it's hot. So the innovation has skyrocketed ov overnight, right? So it's really exciting to see what's going to happen, right? Because I'm excited because we'll be able to give it in tools to some kids that are absolutely brilliant storytellers but maybe they're not amazing, you know, at rotoscoping, right? Mm -hmm. So they don't want to do that. They just want to tell their stories. Yeah. And the flip side of that as well, a lot of VFX artists I know are dying to end up on set to become VFX supervisors. So they spend, you know, 10, 15 years of their career trying to get there and then they get a bit disappointed when they end up being like one of 2000, you know, that waits for those credits. And then, you know, um, I think in general, VFX has always had this problem from back of Life of Pi days, right, where we had you know, green screens and Facebook profile pictures because it's so frustrating that you get an Oscar and the company's going under the same day, right? It's yeah. uh, it has not, it hasn't changed as much as people want it to change. I think, um, you know, so I, I do, I do think that that's a problem. I, I do think a lot of artists are overworked. I think a lot of artists are not appreciated. Um, so we're hoping that some of these tools would, you know, will kind of free up that. Um, and it's a good timing because there's a need for content now more than ever. It's a big deal in the industry what's happening right now. And a lot of people first time hearing about AI, of course, the first reaction is going to be like, is this replacing me? Yeah. Uh, I heard a good quote. Someone said like, you know, your, your, your job is not going to be taken away by AI, by, by someone who's using AI. And I do really, I do think visual effects industry has always been one of the first one to get affected with innovation, because if you think about it, like. Everything that came out on Instagram or Snapchat, that was just visual effects. It was just that we enabled these phones to do it real time versus something we've been doing, right? So it's like, you can predict the innovation in the phone in like social media by just sitting with a VFX artist and be like, show me what you were doing here, right? <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah. For us, um, I've seen how technology has been push pushing visual effects for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. uh, and in general, I think, this this part of the industry of the film industry vfx has always been very people have been tech savvy and they've really been tech savvy they're like adjusting to new software then adjusting to new approaches and you know it's not it's not yesterday we started using ml and vfx we've been using ml and vfx for 10 years it's just that people don't understand what's going on in the back end of you know these solutions that ilm digital domain i mean digital domain they've been you know building their facial performance and VEDA, you know, using AI for so long, 